Hey guys, Freezer's Freezer. Today we are going to be reviewing a hot new item that everybody seems to be picking up, and that is Unexpected Adventure by Demonical Fit. So we'll take a peek at the box here. I mean, freaking awesome. I love the new black style that Demonical Fit has been putting out for quite a while now. Here's what the images look like on the side, the back, other side. That front view again. We'll get this thing opened up. So when you open this thing up, everything comes intact. And then there's this mysterious black little bag. I have no idea what this is, but let's check out what it is. It feels like it's face plates. Oh, weird, random. They uh, probably just didn't have enough space, but they threw in two random hands in this black little bag. Cool. As for the actual figure, this thing's actually pretty freaking loaded. I mean, you can pick up this guy right now for like $38 on AliExpress or through uh, through some other people like 5K Toys. Highly recommend them. Uh, it comes with two different heads. So we'll take a peek at that. It comes with multiple sets of hands. So one, two, three, four... An extra hand plus the five is the one that I just opened, so five and a half sets of hand. Energy effect, that actually is a good looking energy effect too. We'll take this plastic cover off, take a peek at the figure itself. So they actually have really good attention to detail on these face plates. That looks fantastic. We'll check it out. Taking this thing out of there and just playing around with it for a quick second. Man, I love the articulation on Demonical Fit. It's fantastic very fluid this thing looks great um legs are exactly what you would expect out of demonical fit too so pretty standard wide range of motion it's gonna make posing this thing super easy knee joints are good camera might just be picking it up the color is a little bit off on that knee joint but it actually looks pretty darn good still take a peek behind here So, it's pretty standard articulation. Elbow joints are super fluid. Like, these things move really, really easy. Shoulders, not too bad. Well, a little bit harder to do a Kamehameha pose, but that'll be pretty easy. Taking a peek at the actual hair. So, here is the base head sculpt on here. Pretty similar to Estro, actually this one looks really good. I like that. Let's take a peek at it. So we'll take a look at the Super Saiyan head. I like this one a lot. This looks fantastic. Get it to focus there. Really good, I like the paint coloring. Face plates are fantastic. We'll take a peek at the other face plates here. So it comes with four total. Here's the last one. And then here's the face plates for the base. Ears are kind of funky, but overall these look really, really good. So here's the only negative I've found so far. This neck peg is so freaking tight. It is super difficult to get on. It's still not on all the way. I think that's the only negative so far of this figure. It's still not in all the way, but that's all right. So here's what it looks like with Super Saiyan on there. Um, this one really reminds me of actually the full power. Um, so we'll take a peek at the full power and actually see how that compares to it. All right, so right here on the right, this is actually full power Goku head sculpt. Um, it's just on the Majin Buster body. And here is the unexpected adventure. So they are still definitely different. I'm actually a bigger fan of the unexpected adventure. It's not as detailed, but I like the, the cuts on it, like you can see. 
that adds quite a bit of detail in my opinion, rather than just the shading and the grooves. So I actually really like that. But yes, the face plates are different. They are not the same as full power. So overall, I highly recommend this figure. I'm a much bigger fan of Demonical Fit than I am of the official figure arts, but this is definitely a must-have, especially for the price. Even if you don't like the N to Z outfit or the GT outfit that Goku has, just for the face plates and for the head sculpts, especially on the Super Saiyan, this figure is worth the price. So I highly recommend it. Decide for yourself if you want to pick it up. <laughs>